friends hello welcome back we are jumping in and doing a flip of my february journal i have been quite behind in sharing my journal so i want to get caught up so i've done january very recently and now we're jumping in and we're flipping february this is my cover it's a journal i've made myself uh it's a five size um, I just love making covers like this so much where I, I lay down all my scrappy paper and then add some fun bits on top. I love these little bits here, this little cat that says stop talking and then these little ones that says contains cat here. I just love that. I love cats. Um, this flamingo and these beautiful florals and then this cute little hedgehog with little heart shorts. So cute. So that is that. I've got some little charms on here too, this little infinity sign. A little love and a little like rose I think that's perfect for February um so I love this lollipop sticker too that's so fun all right let's jump in I always take like an hour plus sharing my journals and I am gonna see if we can do it in less than an hour today <laughs> okay so inside I've got this little pocket with this little cute um I think it was a card like a greeting card thing it's got this cat and these heart pillows and hearts everywhere and I just thought it was so cute um, and then I have this little calendar, which I never filled in. So I could do that. Here we go. First of February. And this great big title says 3,000 days and eight years. So this was just like a weird day for me and for my husband because we'd been married for 3,000 days, which is amazing. Um, it also marks exactly eight years of infertility for us because we started to try to have children on the 1st of February in 2015. So eight years of infertility. It was just quite a weird sort of day, you know, bittersweet. All of the beauty of being married for 3,000 days, but also the weirdness of eight years of infertility. I so strongly remember um, when we were early on in the infertility journey talking to a couple from our church who had struggled with the same thing, infertility, because of PCOS and things like that, which is the thing that I have. Um, and she said that it had taken like seven and a half years for her to have her first baby. And that was through IVF that they managed to have their son. Um, and I remember thinking at the time, there's no way I'm going to be able to survive if it's, I have to wait that long. Like, there's just no way I'm going to be able to do that. Like, that just won't happen. I can't even imagine that. And then here I was, hitting eight years, even longer than they did. So it was quite a weird day remembering that. I don't know, it was, it was really odd. Here is a little photo of my cat cleaning herself. This is a photo of my sister's arm. She had broken her arm. I think it was on the last day of January. So it had been just the day before she'd broken her arm. And this was my parents driving her home from the hospital. Um, and it looked, her arm was like this. And it was in that white cast. And I said that it looked like a dying swan. So I put this little swan sticker up there and had a giggle about that. Uh, I had this love tea this day. So that was pretty fun. I used, of course, all of the bits of the tea packaging for um, decorating. Uh, we finally got unlimited internet this day. That was very exciting. Um, it had been months and months of me trying to get my husband to get us unlimited internet. And he just kept on, I don't know, not being able to do it, not being able to figure it out. And then this day he was like, oh, it's actually really easy. I just went online and did it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this has literally been almost a year of me asking you to do it. Um, like it's, I would have done it, but it's all under his name, his passwords and everything. So... Um, he, I was trying to get him to do it and finally we got there. So that was really exciting. Um, very good. Okay. Over here, um, I was putting something up on Patreon, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, something to do with Patreon. Probably my printables and stuff went up on this day. Typically around the third or second I put them up. Um, this is a little scan of my sister's baby. Um, cannot wait to meet baby number two. So this is, you guys, if you guys have been here a while, you guys will definitely have heard me talk about Freya, my niece. This is going to be her little baby brother or sister. Um, so that's super exciting. Um, so this was the little scan picture she sent me. So of course I wanted to include that in here. Um, this is my sweet, handsome husband with nose baskets. Um, he was trialing out the little baskets that you put up into your nostrils to help you breathe better when you're asleep. And it was just such a dorky thing, such a dorky look for him. Um, so I took a photo of him with his nose baskets and um, I just had to document that. It's so funny. 
so funny um i was also signed up to bad jones rising on patreon and this was some of her patreon collage sheets which i love i think it's so freaking cool she's a really really talented artist here's the third um this is my niece freya like i was talking about before eating her ice block this was like hot hot summertime for us uh this day was super super insanely warm i remember that um really really hot and so she was having her little ice block and her little puff outfit that i bought her with strawberries on it she loves that thing um, so that's really fun. This is just a cute photo that James sent me of his double chins. Uh, this was a fun quote that I found on Instagram, I think, and it says, There is power in whimsy. Whimsy is enthusiasm that refuses to defend itself with practicality. It's finding meaning in pure enjoyment. It is the practice of honouring delight for delight's sake. When being awake feels grey and stale, try inviting more whimsy into your life. And I love that. And actually, it's a great reminder for me right now because... I've been having a really crummy time recently, so maybe whimsy is something I need to focus drawing back into my life. It was my cousin Buzz's birthday. His name is not actually Buzz, but he goes by Buzz and prefers the name Buzz. So he's Buzz. He's been Buzz since he was like three. Um, we've always called him Buzz, but it was his birthday this day. So we went over to their house, um, him and his partner's house, uh, and had a lovely like birthday party. Um, with cake and met their puppies and uh, I don't know it was really lovely um his partner is one of my very close friends so always love hanging out it was a really nice time and it was super super hot it was like even like it was after dinner and it was almost still too hot to be outside it was like that summery time of year where you can do that it's long gone feels long gone now <laughs> Uh, this day, my handsome husband was in the city and he was getting himself some new, like, more formal clothes. Um, and he got himself, like, this jacket and um, new, like, fancy pants and shirt and things. And he looked so handsome. These were the photos he sent me because um, he likes to just check that I don't hate what he's buying. So he, I was at home. He was in town. So he was sending me photos from the... Um, like the mirrors in the changing rooms and saying, does this look good? Do you like this? So he was just letting me help him along with that. And he looked very handsome. So it went for it. And then this was when he got home. I made him try it on again for me. It looked so good. Um, and <laughs> this is what he said. It cracked me up. He said, I think I might be the handsomest guy at the ball. <laughs> he cracks me up so much. He's so funny. I just had to include that on here because that was just too funny. Um, this was our grocery list that he had taken to town to, to buy at the supermarket and so I just added it in here and um, this was a picture I took on this app called Weathershot and it kind of says I am and then the location and then what the temperature is and the date and things like that so I'd taken a shot of that and it was 33 degrees which is pretty warm that's right up there for temperatures that we kind of get in this area so that was hot for us um so I wanted to include that in there a nice day over here, I was watching Bob's Burgers and Beauty and the Geek Australia. Beauty and the Geek Australia is such a good show, just in case you guys are looking for some reality TV that is really, really good. I love it. It's, like, really wholesome. It's not, you know, silly and gross or anything. It's so wholesome and just a really adorable show. Um, so I was watching Beauty and the Geek Australia and Bob's Burgers, um, and I took this Bob's Burgers quiz to see which character you are. I think it's like a BuzzFeed quiz. And I got Tina, and I love that for me. And then I made James take it. He's never even seen Bob's Burgers, but I made him take it, and he got Louise, and I love that for him. So that was just that was just fun. So I put our results in there. This is a little Valentine's Day card that I'd made a few years ago that I just had to use up. This was James. Sir, James, James. Um, he had been eating something, and he had food all over his face. So. Um, snapped a pic of that to include there. Um, that's very cute. So that was the fifth. Love it. Over here we have the sixth. I put out my November journal flip through this day. Uh, this is of course Freya petting her cat and this Katie, my sister, told her to make a I'm excited to see Aunt Litta face. I'm Aunt Litta. In case you didn't know, I go by Aunt Litta when I'm with Frey. Um, actually with a bunch of people call me Aunt Litta kids in my life um and this was her excited face to see me later on that day um this was when I think now let me just see if I can scan through my writing and see if I'm correct on this um I can't remember why we were video calling 
I don't know, but we obviously had a little video chat this day. Thought it might have been when my dad accidentally video calls our whole family. He sometimes does that, which always cracks me up. And then we all hop on and he's like, so who called this? And we're like, dad, it was you. And he's always so confused how, how that happened. He thought somebody else had made the video chat, but it was it was always him. Um, So this was some, it's not that, I don't think, but that is what often happens. I was checking if that had happened here. Um, But that's Freya and I having a wee video call there, which is always a delight. What's up in this pocket, may I ask? Oh. I won't actually pull those out because they're a bit nudie rudy of Freya. So is that one there too, actually. I think all the pictures are a bit nudie rudy that I'd popped in this pocket. So I won't pull them out just for a bit of privacy. Um, but they were so funny. Um, we had gone up to my parents' house and my parents, like in their wardrobe, there's like these like built-in shelves. And we like threw all of my dad's clothes out and then Freya was hiding in there. And she thought she was so funny to hide in this like high up shelf of course I was standing right there so she wouldn't fall down but she thought it was so so funny to hide there and then have me call in one family member at a time to come and see if they could find her hiding and it was just hilarious and um, so that's what those photos are up in there but she was a little naked girl at the time I think she had a nappy on but you know it was a hot day so clothes off why not um Prompt week. I do a prompt week every month, which is super fun. If you have not joined in on them, I would love for you to come over. I share them on Instagram and I really enjoy sharing them. I make these little graphics every month um, and they're based on the five senses and it's really fun. It's a really fun little prompt thing. It's only once a month for the week for five days. It's pretty easy to keep up with in my opinion because I suck at prompts, um, but it's fun. But that's what prompt week is about here. The prompt was, what was for dinner tonight? And I wrote here that dinner was at mum and dad's and we have really lovely crumbed gurnard and potato salad and veggies. So super delicious. Um, and my husband had brought up these ice blocks as a treat for everyone. So that was really sweet of him to think of everyone and bring them all an ice block. So it was lovely. Um, oh, I sent out some happy mail this day as well. Tuesday for prompt week. The prompt was document something red that you saw today and honestly it was getting pretty late in the day and I hadn't seen anything red that was like noticeable until Freya came up to my house and she was wearing this new red dress and I was like perfect I'll document her beautiful new red dress and then my husband was wearing his red Liverpool shirt so I was like cute I'm gonna put both of you in here you cuties so I love that um Oh, my cat had left another baby here at my doorstep, but this one wasn't injured, so we managed to release this one. A few, we had another one that just a few weeks before she had left at the doorstep that was really badly injured and and didn't survive. Um, so she was naughty to do that twice in a row like that. Terrible. Um, and yeah, James went and released this one. Harriet and her dog Bear came over, and we went for a walk. Um, I was working in my retrospective collage calendar, so that's super fun. Uh, I think I was making breakfast muffins this day, just by the look of the banana sticker that I've got in here. I believe this might have been another, this might have actually been the first, the first Inspired to Create challenge that Alison and Melissa did. I'm thinking it is. Uh, and what was the word for that? Have I got it written down somewhere? Love. The word was love. That's right. And I used, so their prompts are, you use the, they give a word and then you use the first, you use the letters in that word to like make like an acrostic thing with prompts that you make up. Gosh, I did the worst job of explaining what that is. So the word was love. So basically L, I used these stickers that say love you. O, I used orange, some orange paper. V, I used vellum here, and then E, I'm not even going to pronounce it, it's this word here, and it means basically California poppy, but it starts with E, so that was what this flower was, um, so that's how you use their prompts, I find them so fun, I try and do them every week when they bring them out, sometimes I, sometimes I don't get it done, but mostly, mostly I do, I really enjoy it, so I think that was their first one, if I'm correct, I think. Over here, this was my parents' 31st wedding anniversary this day. So that was really cool. They went away for a little overnight holiday. Um, my lilies were blooming in my garden. I put out something on Patreon, I believe. 
just looking at this symbol here, I'm guessing a Patreon something. Oh yes, I posted up a Patreon video. So that's, I thought it was Thursday. I typically do it on a Thursday and I think this was a Wednesday and I accidentally, yes, I posted it on a Wednesday accidentally because I thought it was Thursday, but it didn't really matter. Um, this is my sister. She had, her name's Harriet, which is why there's this great big H here. Um, and she had surgery this day on her broken arm that you'd seen at the beginning. Um, so I just had that document she sent it out. This was when she just woke up from surgery. She took a photo of her, a little selfie to send through to the family saying that she survived. So obviously was going to include that. Love it. We have this little tiny spider drawing, which was a little drawing that Harriet had done when she was a little kid. And I had found it in amongst all my bits that I've saved forever in a day. And included that on here because, you know, I'm going to lose it at some point. I'm surprised I haven't lost it already, honestly. Um, so I just included a little drawing that she had done when she was a little kid. Love it. Uh, was making a lot of paper beads at this time. So that's um, what is on here. Um, over here, this was Wednesday. What was the weirdest word you heard today was the, was the um, prompt. And that's right, it was blimpy. It means nothing. I had just really heard that James said blah, 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 blimpy. And I was like, what did you just say? What's blimpy? What does that even mean? And I don't remember even what he had tried to say. Um, but we were giggling about that. And now blimpy was a word when something's really cool. We say blimpy. <laughs> That's so blimpy. Uh, we haven't actually really used it since then. But for that day, we were using the word blimpy. And that was fun. Uh, this is a pr printable from Belinda, who's visualised NZ. Um, this is one of my printables over on Patreon. Yeah, next day, nine. This was the day we had Freya come over and hang with us for a bit. Um, my sister had to go to work, and so we had Freya come and hang with us. We did some art together. I got out the pens and did some drawing. This is her eating some chippies. Um, we had fluffies, you know, things that you do when you're hanging out with your adorable little niece. You make fluffies, you eat candy, and you do drawings. Um, this was the drawing that she did to give to her grandma and granddad, which is my parents, for their anniversary. She did this beautiful drawing with all of the bright colours, and we put it up on the fridge at grandma and granddad's house, and she was very proud of it. And um, she hadn't really done a lot of drawing at this point, and this was one of her kind of first beautiful colourful pieces that she'd done and um, it was lovely and so that got put up on the fridge as their little anniversary present from Freya which was so cute um, and since then she's done heaps of art she's absolutely obsessed with doing art at the moment so that's really cool um, this is like something out of a book that I had found that I was sort of cutting up the book and it said the triumph of surgery and I was like oh perfect I'll add this in here as a little title for this picture of my sister Harriet. This was her coming out of the hospital. Another wee selfie as she walked on out. Um, so all done with the operating. So that's good. This was the same day, I believe. I'm just continuing on. So we ended up going up to mum and dad's um, for her to give that um, beautiful artwork that she'd done to them. Uh, this is her eating strawberries on the lawn. This is her <laughs> with her dolly, which is actually my dolly from when I was a little kid. But she uses it now and she loves her. And um, she wanted to have her, she normally has dolly sit in the basket up front on her bike. Um, but this day she decided she wanted her on the back. But of course dolly doesn't stay up on the back well. So we ended up like getting a, I think it was the tie out of my mum's like dressing gown. And like wrapping it around her and like tying dolly on the back. And she thought that was so cool. So we snapped a little photo of her on the bike with dolly. And so that was really cute. Added that in there. She's too sweet. These were the sausages we had for dinner. Um, and they, these sausages, this brand, Snacker Changi, they do Snacker Changi, or Snagger Changi's sausages. They do Wacker Changi chips. They do these other, like, beer and stuff. And they have just totally, like, they have a, like, a word about, like, the company. And it's all lies. Like, every time it's just complete, utter lies about what it's talking about. And it's really funny. Um... And they always have this like fabulous packaging with really great illustrations. So I included that. Um, Thursday prompt, what was the temperature? And I wrote here that it was a high of 20, but mostly about 14. So quite cooler, a lot cooler this day. Um, so included that in this little pocket over here. Last day of prompt week, do you have a craft supply you love to smell? And I said, I love my smelly stickers and I also love my Bic Eco 
Eco Lotions glow sticks. They smell like aloe vera in my opinion. Um, so that's fun. And I included these little peanut butter smelly stickers there. Um, these were some some fun things that came up online. This was from I think Dolly's Patreon video and it had my name on it because I was a patron of hers and then somebody else and I can't see who it is. I seem to have must have cropped it out. Um, but somebody had posted up who they are who they patron. And I was on there and I thought that was so cute that they were sharing that. So I um, printed that out and stuck that in. This was a Friday. Um, I was working on... Oh, was this the journal that I made for my friend? I think it was. Let me just read about this here. I was watching Spirited Away. So that was fun. I'm pretty sure this might have been the journal I made for my friend Heather um potentially and I mailed that out to her and she's received that now so that's cool um I don't have to keep hush hush about that but that's all sent out and she's got it so that's perfect and I was working on these heart um little heart ephemera pieces which was really fun this is just some Enneagram stuff which I love had a really bad anxious day this day um, was really really weird I was in the shower in the morning and just had like the weirdest panic attack out of nowhere and I had to like get out of the shower and sit down because I was like really not in a good way um, so that was really weird and since then I've had a lot more anxiety that just won't seem to leave me be um, so it's been kind of weird I mean I've had anxiety before this this was not my first rodeo with anxiety um, but it just did seem to hit me out of nowhere and that was not so fun uh, it was my auntie's 70th birthday, so we had like a great big like extended family dinner out at a restaurant, so that was really lovely. Um, um, <laughs> there was just some really fun quotes about um, that my uncle was saying that I was overhearing in a conversation. My mum asked him what she thought of his new little granddaughter, and my uncle said, oh, she's alright, she cries a lot, and she's not as big as she looks in photos. <laughs> Like, that was a bad, I don't know, that just really cracked me up. That that was his complaint, is that she's smaller than she looks in photos. Um, and his other complaint later on, he said that babies are not very big and when they're born and that they don't know very much. <laughs> I don't know, they were just such random things to say. Um, so I documented them because they were making me giggle listening to his conversation with my mum. Um... Oh, this day I got up and watched Inky Quill's scrap stream on YouTube. She did this live scrap stream and I was documenting, I was journaling this page while I was watching the scrap stream. So that was really fun. We had um, corn on the cob that was, my sister had grown this day. So that was lovely. Um, had another anxiety day. Ugh, the worst. And I was watching What We Do in the Shadows. Over here, now this tag has got to be from a Deal It Up challenge or something. I can't remember precisely what it was, but I'm thinking that it was a Deal It Up challenge by Belinda. Yes, um, and it was grungy, was one of the prompts. Tag was what we had to make, and it had to be have a die cut or a punch. So I just punched a little heart. I don't know if you can see it there, a little heart out of the corner. This was my grungy big tag that I made, and I, I like it. Uh, I also jumped in on Konzi from a Top Serenity Hills live play date. That was so much fun. So um, I wrote about that on there. I was watching what we do in the shadows. I made some breakfast muffins and my YouTube video went up that day. This day is Valentine's Day. And this day, while it is a lovely love day, it's also actually a really, really tough day for me because it's my son's birthday on Valentine's Day and when he was born he passed away and so he was actually turning five this day and that actually was a really hard day. Um, I It just was weird to think of my son how he would be five now we would be starting school days and all of that and it just kind of hit me really hard this day to think of what my life would be looking like if I had got to keep my son um, and so that was really, really hard. This was a cute photo that my sister sent me um, of Freya this day. They were away at the time down visiting her husband's family. Um, and this was my little scan photo that I'd had of my son when I was pregnant with him. So I, I added that in there. Um, Valentine's Day, James and I had these little pink icing buns and we put little five candles in it and sung our son happy birthday. Um, so that was that was nice to remember him like that. 
um, for the Inspired to Create Challenge. The word was Cupid. And I I just mostly do them across my spread. So I had a cup oh I had these little cupids and a little crystal for the C. Um unicorn was U, P was pink. So I used a lot of pink on here. I was ink. I made this all with all the pink blotchiness with ink. And then D was die cut. So this little piece here was a die cut. Um was there any others? No, I think it must be. Oh, this little envelope here was also a die cut. So I included those. Um, for that and so that was that was a, a weird day a tricky day over the page um this day this is a cute photo of my niece again eating her broad beans up on the bench at her nana's house or her Olma's house sorry um and what else do I have here I've got this cute like flip bit with these flowers some anxiety or an anxiety meme and then this also this other weird one that was about how do you wipe <laughs> do you stand to wipe do you sit to wipe and it was kind of interesting. Um, my family were all discussing it. And that was a weird conversation that we had. Um, funny. Over here. What's this tag of? Oh, that's right. My sister had bought a top that was like a touch too big for her. And she gave it to me. And that was so weird for me. Because I have always been way, way bigger than my sister's. Like, there's no way that we could have ever shared any sort of clothes. Um, and since having my gastric bypass... I've lost, obviously, a considerable amount of weight. I lost, um, like, 140 pounds, I think, or 65 kgs. I don't know if that is a correct conversion or if I'm totally off on that. Let me just quickly check what the conversion is. Excuse me. Um, 65 kgs in pounds is 143 pounds. So, yeah, I lost 143 pounds. And so that is obviously... Um, a lot so I'm down to a similar I'm still bigger than my sisters but similar to them yeah sorry um I just had to quickly check my phone for a wee minute there um so that was this was Wednesday the 15th over the next page I was out to tea with some friends of mine um and oh my gosh my friend is so funny uh we were out in this like sort of like sunroom area of this restaurant um for dinner and She's just hilarious, honestly. She had she was going to go and get her sunglasses out of the car because it was really bright. And she just said, I need to go get my sunglasses. I'm squinting Tarantino over here. And it just had me laughing, squinting Tarantino. I've never even, I don't know, that just was too funny to me. And so I needed to write that down there. This was the restaurant we were at. Their business card, I'm always stealing business cards. Um, and then these are some pics my sister sent me again of Freya at this playground on their on their drive home. Um, and I got this delicious, they were down in Southland. And down there is, um, on the way up, like through Otago, um, there's this place called Cromwell and it has lots of really good stone fruit in it. Um, and you can buy a lot of it, like, and it's like really nice, really nice fruit. And so my sister got me this big box of beautiful stone fruits and that was just a delight and so this was my stone fruit box so I loved that now what did James get oh James must have gone to see his friend this day and ended up his friend had been given a Liverpool football club shirt and it was a little bit too big for him um and so he gave it to James and so that was really really cool because uh, James is a big Liverpool football club fan so Added, I got to keep the tag, of course, because he lets me. He's very kind. Um, so I added that in there. I was working on this little mushroom holder thing at my pottery class, so that was cool. Uh, my mother-in-law and her fiancé got some chickens this day, and they called them Rose and Thistle. And I think they're such cute names. And this, my, my husband went over to his mum's house and to hang out, and he took these photos for me, and I just love them, of my mother-in-law and her fiancé outside by their chickens, and it's just so cute, oh my gosh, I loved it, so had to, of course, include them in there, we got kinder surprise, James came home with kinder surprises, um, these, this was another one of the inspired to create challenges, this was a toughie, because the word was date, and they asked you to ask your partner, or significant other, whatever, um, to choose your words for you. And oh my word, oh my word, that was a challenge. The word was date, and he decided that it was going to be date, D for date, really original. And he said, it cannot be the date, it must be the fruit 
date. I was like, what the freak am I supposed to include about dates? Like the food dates in my journal. Then his second option, well, the A was anime. And I was like, okay, like I don't dislike anime, but I don't have a whole lot of anime stuff. T was treats. That's not so bad. And then E was ember. What on earth? I was, it was so challenging. Oh my goodness. So we used a Dragon Ball Z card that was for anime. I managed to, I just went into my pantry to the packaging of the dates that I had in there and just cut it up and put my dates in a container. So it used this packaging of dates. Um, the treat was this little cookie and teacup, which I think I'd actually had that evening maybe. Um, so that kind of worked. And then Ember, I decided this Dragon Ball Z card down here, it looked like there was embers. Like, it's a lot of fire, and this was, like, the base of the fire, and it's got, like, little ember -y bits in it. So I was like, that's going to do, because where on earth else am I getting embers from? So <laughs> that was, this little tip-in was my, my go at that, and my word, that was the hardest I've ever done. Much, much harder than when you do it yourself, <laughs> when you just give yourself the prompts. 17th. Um, I got this vibration trainer. It's like a thing you stand on that vibrates because I have really terrible restless leg syndrome. Really ter I got it the day before from James, but this day I was trying it out. I have terrible restless legs. And I was trying it out to see, we were going to try it out to see if it was helpful for my restless legs. And I've got to say it has been. It's been considerably better since I have used it. So that's been awesome because restless legs, if you don't have it, you probably don't understand how deeply uncomfortable it is. And it's every day. For me, anyway, it was every day I was just deeply uncomfortable. Like, I still have it, but it's not as awful as it was before. So, definitely, definitely good. So, that was off the instructions. I just included that picture. Um, who was sick? Someone's sick. Oh, my sister. My sister was really sick this at this point. Um, yeah, I got my fruit box this day. Over here. Uh, this was my little box of washi tapes I made for, I think I shared a little video of that on my Patreon, uh, where I was making this little capsule of washi tape, and then every month I'm going to just swap in and out um, how, what washi tapes I've got in the little tin that's on my desk. So that was the photo of that there. Here I have this little card that says 18th of February, which was this day, and it says, Oh, my heart is a bird that sings while you're gone. And I thought that was cute, so I added that in here. And over on the back it says, I only went out for a walk and finally concluded to stay out till sundown. For going out, I found I was really going in. And I thought that was beautiful. So that was included. This is my cute little niece having something to eat. I think she was having some shortbread. And um, she had my husband's hat on backwards and she looked so cute. And this was her outside blowing bubbles with this bubble blowing toy that James and I had got her a little while ago. Um, so, so, and I got given two crystals. Freya and Katie had bought me some crystals when they were down in Southland, um, and that was really sweet. Uh, this must be the same page. Um, I had printed out this picture I'd found online of embers, because I thought I might try and use it back there, but hadn't. So, we ended up having a fire pit night, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll use this here. Um, and it worked well. So, we had this little fire pit night, roasted some marshmallows, um, that was fun. I like, I found this little meme that says, I like to play this game called Nap Roulette. I take a nap and not set an alarm. Will it be 20 minutes or four hours? Nobody knows. It's risky and I like it. And I think I'd had quite a big, oh, that's right. I fell asleep on mum's veranda. I was just lying out on the veranda in the sunshine and ended up falling asleep for about an hour and a half. Did not mean to do that. But actually my sister and my mum did as well. Um, so my other sister and my husband ended up looking after Freya because we had all gone to sleep. Um... This is a beautiful postcard by Pen Powling Paula, and I had spent some time journaling outside, and this is actually a picture of an illustration of her, but I felt it represented me journaling outside also. Um, collage calendar flip through went up, James and I had a really fun evening listening to the Backstreet Boys and playing croquet out on our lawn, so lovely. Um, if opportunity doesn't knock, build the door, I love it. Okay. This one, now what was this for? Was this um, Deal It Up Challenge as well, I'm thinking? Is this a month? Mm. I don't remember um, if this was Deal It Up Challenge or not. Yes, it was. The prompts were Tippin, Vintage and Stencil. So this was what I came up with, with the, under those prompts and 
I love it. I really love how this turned out. This stencil is one that I barely ever use and has become a favourite of mine since using it like this. This was my lunch. I had um, cheese and crackers, some dates and peanut butter, some blueberries and some ham for lunch. So yummy. Uh, and Pocket Full of Ponda, who is Bella. Her name's Bella, but she goes by Pocket Full of Ponda on Instagram. Um, we did this really fun little collab thing where we um, made collages and sent them digitally to each other and then we like adjusted them and changed them and it was really, really fun. I so enjoyed that. Um, so this was her collage she sent me and I just wanted to stick a little photo in my journal. Um, over here, this was a gory picture of my sister's like cast off bandages off with the wires all sticking out of her wrist. It was yeesh, it was disgusting. Photos of my niece, did some laundry. This was a printable from Starmoth Press. Um, there's only one rule I know of, you've got to be kind. So true. Thank you is the best prayer that anyone could say. I say that one a lot. Thank you expresses extreme gratitude, humility and understanding. It's beautiful. I love that. Uh, this was a little tip-in that I made and I really liked it. I made these stickers out of magazine images and um, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, oh, was this... Yes, this was disgusting. I woke up feeling a little bit sick and I think I was getting sick from my sister and then my cat vomited all over my bed and it was so big and it was so disgusting and stank so bad. So that was gross. Um, <laughs> so gross. Um, for tea tonight, oh, I made loaded potato for tea with like bacon and avocado and corn and cucumber and capsicum and feta and it was so good. Um doing a big lot of uploading and journaling in bed tonight and listening to music and eating chocolate with the fan on because it's so hot and it's 10 p.m so that sounds like a lovely evening actually um over here we were getting ready for our church camp these were all of the little goodie bags that um my sisters were making for all the kids that were coming to our church camp um i was printing off like a super load of um booklet things for everyone going to our church camp that i ran out of paper and james had to go he was going over to the little town nearby anyway and he got in like at five minutes to closing time and picked me up another big ream of paper so that was amazing um freya did these illustrations here and then katie drew a picture of my sister's dog bear and then over here she did a picture of her own dog percy and i loved them so that went in my journal um these are cute little freya pictures and then she oh that's right freya sent me this Katie sent me this cute picture of Freya and Freya then was asking where a picture of me was. So I had to send her a picture of me back. Uh, it looks like I dyed my hair this day too. So that's always nice to get my hair a bit fresh. Um, but that is suggesting to me, since this was February, that it is probably time for me to dye my hair again. This day we bought like one of these, well I didn't do it, my sister did, bought this big foam puzzle thing. You know those ones that are like a mat that you stick together and you can kind of see what I'm talking about probably. So she bought one. And she said, oh, I'm going to paint a picture on it for the kids at our church camp. And and she was like, I insist on doing this. This will be great. And then she bought it. And then she was like, joke's on you guys. My arm's broken. And it's my dominant arm that's broken. I can't do it. You guys have to. So uh, we got lumped with a job that we didn't want to do. But that's okay. It was fun, actually. Um, And we got the puzzle all painted. And I was glad I was there because my sisters and mother, so slow. They faffed about trying to decide like how to do it for so long and so I ended up just getting in there and just doing all the outlining for them because none of them, I don't think, I think it would have taken six years to do the thing. Um, so that was funny. I was working on a berry bowl for my sister at clay class this day. I got this lovely postcard from Belinda. She was um, away on holiday and she sent me, well she had come back at this point but it took a while for the postcard to arrive. Uh, but this was a postcard from her, from her holiday. I think this was all the same day, actually. Um, yeah, so this was my clay class that night. And yeah, so nice. Always lovely to get postcards in the mail. What have we got here? This was the day we were going, why is this little washi sample tucked in here? I don't want that in there. I want to be able to use it. That's weird. Um, oh, well, well, now I've found it at least. It's not up on my shelf not being used. Um, so here we've got this little tip in thing. My husband and I were going into the city. Our church camp was starting this day. And so we were doing a big shop. 
because we had to get all of the morning tea, supper, afternoon tea, food for the camp. This is a little photo we took at um, this like little arcade place that we went to. Um, this is our favourite arcade game to play. We always play this one. We've been playing this game since we were dating years and years and years ago. Um, so that's super fun. We went and had a quick game there. Um, and then did all the shopping. I went and got some Rescue Remedy because I was feeling very anxious. Uh, this was my lunch. I had this crispy chicken and sweet honey chicken. You can get half and half. And I love this place because they put the stickers on top of your order and they never stick them down properly so you can always peel them up and it's the best. So it means I get stickers all the time. Uh, I stopped at this little cafe in Amberley, like bakery cafe, because um, we had to, we were sort of nearby the church camp, which was near Amberley, and we couldn't get in for a little bit. So we needed to do something with our time. So we stopped at the cafe. And it was okay. The toilets were really, really gross. <laughs> That's all I can say that I remember about it. Uh, underneath there is something actually quite private. So I won't put that up there. Um, but we had Kinder Surprises again, because fun. Um, and got, the, got ourselves already at the church camp before everyone else arrived. Uh, this was the first full day. Um, it was good. It was actually really nice. I was very anxious because I have pretty bad social anxiety, uh, but it was okay. It actually went pretty well. Um, this was something I found out on a field. It was this laminated piece of calendar. It was like in the mown grass out on this field. And so I picked it up and I took it home and tipped it in because it's a sweet little panda. He deserves to have a little home. Such a weird thing to find. Um, so... This was all the church camp stuff. I had no photos because I was so busy this day. So I had to do this page with no photos. And I actually was like, how am I going to do this? And it turned out so cute, I think. Anyway, I was pretty happy with how it all came out. Over here, uh, this is our church group all here taking a big photo together. Then we had to do this massive amount of cleaning. It was just insane. The amount of cleaning that James and I ended up having to do at the end of the church camp. It was ridiculous, um, but fine. Then we got to pack up and drive home. We went to McDonald's for dinner and this was our grocery shopping. James was outraged that the trolley was like a quarter full maybe and it was $233. He was like, you are joking. How can such a small amount of food cost so much money? It was, it is, food is outrageously expensive at the moment, but it is what it is. Next day, I was sick as a dog, and I was sick as a dog for quite a number of days, actually. Um, I found this fun meme, all sexy people have iron deficiency, I thought that was funny. Photo of my niece at going out for coffee with her mum, so it's cute. Um, stop and observe what's around you. I was playing, I put this Geek Girl sticker because I played PlayStation all day. When I am sick, PlayStation is what I do. Um, this little thing says, and now here it is my secret, very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can rightly see what is essential to the invisible. It, what is essential is invisible to the eye. That's so sweet. So that was that day, and I was sick. Still ridiculously sick. My like my eye was completely bloodshot. My eyes were watering. I was so unwell. So I played PlayStation again all day. I had this list that I had made up. Um, and every hour I had to try and do one of these things. So I'd play PlayStation and then on the hour I would get up and I would do a thing. And then I'd sit back down because that would be literally as much as I could do. Um, so this was my little list of things I got done. Me, very sick. Uh, I put up my YouTube video this day. Um, this was the tissue box that I finished up. This tissue box my dad actually bought me. He picked out this cute giraffe tissue box for me when I had COVID. And so I finished it up this day. Uh, this was a little tag. I can't remember if I made this for a like deal it up or something like that. I, I can't quite remember. But this is a little tag I made. And it has my Receptify on it on the back there. So this must mean that we're at the end of the month. Um... I had nice lemon water this day off my, the lemons were from my mother-in-law's tree. She has the best lemons. Um, so that was the 28th. Yeah, February 28th. That's the end. This was just some little bits that I had left that I stuck in the back here. And then this was a random photo from when James and I were dating um, that years and years ago that was, had gotten all crushed and crinkled. And I don't, I must have gotten fallen behind something. And so I just stuck it in my journal. And that is February, friends. And it's good that we're stopping because the sun is creeping in. It's also like 12.30, I think. 12.20 and I'm hungry for my lunch. So that was February. I hope you enjoyed...
flipping through this with me, I really enjoy looking back at my journals. They bring me so much joy getting to look back at all my, my history and my past and have all my memories tucked into a little book. I love it. I hope you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys again really soon for my next video. Bye friends.